Hey guys, it's Ellie, and guess what? I have one more fishing video coming for you because I found a really good fishing farm that is from the Missipendaria, and I'm not quite sure why people keep buying these, but they are, and I thought I'd share it with you because why not, right? So anyway, we are out here in the Valley of the Four Winds, actually right over next to the Jade Forest. Um, we're gonna fish all along this path right here and get some Jade Lungfish. Now on my server, these are currently going for about 22 gold per. And you might be wondering, why are people using these? Why are they still buying them? Well, I wish I had an answer for you on that, but I really don't. The only thing I can say is that they are using them for cooking in from the Miss Pandaria, and they're probably using them for achievements or banquets or feasts or what have you, if maybe they're leveling. I'm not quite sure. So you wanna make sure you have fine fish on, and you're gonna go ahead and fish up the fish in here. So I average about, I kind of come out here and get about 50 to 100 fish a day. Um, and I have gotten some good sales. So you're just going to keep going up and down from Grooken Hill. Um, I don't recommend going into Pearlfin Village only because there are some mobs in here. So I kind of cut myself off right before the P on Pearlfin Village and I don't go past that area right there. So I just go through these little areas. I don't go into Serpent's Heart either. I kind of stay on the narrow path right here of this little river area, lake, whatever, water, what have you. So that's kind of what I do. And so also to add to the fish that you will be fishing up in this um, current farm, you also get these sealed crates. So there are some other items that you can put up on the auction house to sell. The Dark Moon Firewater is also in these crates, the older version of the Dark Moon Firewater. So on my realm, there's about seven auctions right now, and they do sell at a zero six sell rate for 75 gold per. So in addition to the Jade Lungfish, which sell really about a 0.2 on my server for at 22 gold, you also have these sealed crates that will also be popping up as you're fishing these. Um, some other stuff you'll get in there is like cloth, like pineapple on pizza <laughs> and some like cheap beer but that's just obviously some of the items that you'll get but the dark moon fire water is something you really want to look for um it does sell relatively well in addition to the actual jade lungfish so the prices for these have dropped significantly in the last i don't know 30 days or so obviously with where we are currently in the game um but i have sold uh, a, a lot. <laughs> the last time I sold was a hundred of them. They're 56 gold per on Zul'jin, even though the Undermine Journal is telling me that they're currently selling at 22 gold. Um, so yeah, with that being said, I also looked up on Wowhead. Um, it does look like there are several different spots that you can utilize out in this area to fish, but I find this route to be the best for me. Um, and yeah, if you just want to go here and you want to look at the regent, what they are for, people can bundle them for groceries. There are three mounts you can get with Exalted Reputation, um, with these, with the High Hill, I'm sorry, with the Half Hill Farm. Um, there are Eternal Blossom Fish that they're also used to make. And then there's also the Swirling Mist Soup. So maybe people are utilizing it to make some food for themselves as they're leveling. Maybe people are gearing up for Shadowlands. Not 100% sure, like I said before, but I wish you all the best with this farm. And um, happy fishing. See you guys real soon. Thank you so much again for watching. And next video, I promise, won't be fishing. But I just wanted to get these two fishing farms out that I like to do most of the time. You guys have a great day.